Well, it may not feel like it, but tomorrow is actually the first day of fall. Summer is gone. So that's what Formaggio Restaurant is thinking about these days. It's in the Marriott Sacramento, and it's getting ready to roll out the new fall menu, as many restaurants are. Executive Chef Patrick Prager and Brandon Rainwater from Formaggio are here to give us a little sneak peek of what they're doing. You can kind of feel it out there, can't you? You can, you can. You know, things are getting a little cooler. It was, uh, it was nice this morning, a little breeze in the yeah. air. Yeah. So what are you guys making here? So we're making what's called a poha crusted sea bass. So poha are these little rice flakes, um, and we put them in. We crust it with a little bit of flour, buttermilk, mm -hmm. and, and these things called poha. And once it gets all crispy and sautéed up, they kind of look, kind of give a feel of like rice krispies on mm -hmm. top. So it gives a, a, a nice little mouth feel. I've never heard of poha. Is that? So it's used in Indian cuisine. It's a it's a flattened rice product, and in and where does one buy poha? <laughs> I found it at an Indian um, supermarket. Fun. Um, they use it to make uh, like a rice porridge type mm -hmm. type deal, um, but we're using it to crust fish here. Okay, great. Do we have this on? Yeah. Yeah, just a little low. It okay, is. great. So you're going to let that kind of crisp up. How long typically is tilapia, so right? So this shouldn't take this too long. Is, this is sea bass. Or sea bass, rather. So we're going we're gonna to cook it on one side. Uh, the flame doesn't really go that high, but we're going to cook it on one side for probably a good minute and a half until golden okay. brown. And then what, what we want to do is flip it over and probably okay. throw it in the Let's oven. Let's pretend that minute. it's done because we've got about a minute left. Right. Okay, so next okay. step. Next step, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and plate the dish. So. Ready? Yeah, so we're going to put a, a dollop of the sunchoke puree on the base of the plate. We've got sunchokes and um, some saffron in there. So we'll do a little, a little pile of that. And then this wonderful medley of uh, fall vegetables. So we've got fingerling potatoes, artichokes, some um, cipollini onions. Okay, all the great stuff you're going to start seeing at the farmer's right, market. Right, right. All, all the roots. And I think tomatoes, unfortunately, are going away. So they we're going to begin to see some of these nice vegetables. So. Then once the fish is done, we're pretending, right? We're pretending. Yeah, yeah. It goes right on top there. Beautiful. Beautiful, and we'll garnish with a little bit of uh, micro herbs. And that actually just a small wouldn't take all that long to make too, because no, you could pre-do no. those other vegetables and right. be, be yeah. good to go. All you have to do is heat them up, and this this dish literally takes about maybe five minutes. Tops. Very fun, yeah. and maybe a little trip to the Indian grocery yeah. store, which is always fun to right. see some new yeah. things. You guys do have a couple of events coming up on Wednesday, October 1st. There's a beer tasting with hors d'oeuvres, and then some weekly beer specials that get thrown in as well. Wednesday, October 29th, you can head on out and check out a beer pairing dinner at Formaggio. Thank you very much for coming Thank in. Thank you so much. I